So how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey, partner. That's a fine hmm. horse you got there. Thanks. Alright. Be well now. You on that side. Not. Why not? Did I not? I speak the truth. Get off the damn horse. Killing this land. Look Killing out, it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea. No, I'm oh, sorry. Oh my god. What's the use of this? Easy there. Alright. Okay. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tale. Oh. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, sir. All the best. Well, you did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. Really got me. Uh, you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just kidding. Howdy. What? If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir. I'm not coughing. Can't afford to get sick again <clears throat> this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request, is all. Happy to help you start over. Hey, Mister. Hello. Hello. Hey there. Hello. All right. I can't move. Hey, friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tail. Jenkins, huh? All right. Take a look around. So noted. You have a good day now. See something. Hmm. I don't care about that. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Very nice. Bye now. Hi there, mister. How do you do? Okay, then. <laughs> Pick something up. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Yep, yep. Come on. <laughs> yep, let's get. All right. You're all right, boy. Hey, hey I got a base hey, somewhere. Mister. Hey there. Okay. Uh, all right, boy. Maybe we could find a bear or something.
Come on. Might finish the game to well, finish Arthur's story at least. I don't know. Might. Yep. Good boy. Oh, oh. Yep. Hmm. Oh. Come on before somebody else comes. Hmm. Hey, who's that? Arthur, dumbass. Who 
made us a million, Arthur. Yeah. I spoke to John. We're working it out. I know. Just be careful. You too. Well, try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. You do what your mom tells you, okay? Of course, Uncle Arthur. So your first name comes from your surname? Ain't that odd. Guess I never put too much thought in it before. What's your real first name, then? Marion. Marion? Hmm. Oh, my. What a mess. Okay. What you talking about? Pearson left. Told uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said Our the best slaves. They selves. I thought said slaves. I said selves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. You mean no one's gonna die. <coughs> this is a tough time. You ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I know there's a goddamn train. Arthur! <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob All right, Uncle we'll do Sam, and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John, insist. Yeah, insist. We probably shouldn't have said that. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are going to borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Dinner at night, apparently. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, let's pick up the pace. The train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No, it's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annis. Waiting down by the river to collect the money. Come on, Mule. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. There, boy. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hit the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. What's oh, this place? Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No. I'll get ah, damn it. I didn't mean to press that. I'm fine. Okay. It's in the back. Get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. That was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? Something just flew off the so. table from the fan. Okay. I think it's a receipt. I thought I got rid of that receipt. Alright, whatever. Whatever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this is still What happened to the elk I had, or whatever I killed earlier? Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, not always. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Now it's daytime. So they just rode out all night? Chicago to the tropics. Why would he? Okay. All coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. That okay All right, whatever. I mean, those are the rivers, Arthur, but. Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. 
Yeah, say that we don't want to draw attention to ourselves right in front of a cop. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Macca? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Yeah, okay, boy. Not much further now. Why are you going this way? They stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We're still going through with this. Of course we are. Like the old days, huh? Oh, 
This don't feel nothing like the old days. Oh, I didn't get the other guy, but oh well. my drink on my jeans so well. well done. Oh, there's still somebody on- oh, and they're dead now. No! It's like flying. No, you won't. Man the gun, Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Shit! We got a lot of riders on our tail, Arthur. I see him. Watch the right. You sure you can handle that gun? Cause I can't take over if you want. Just shut the hell up. Hey, we all gotta work together on this. Look left. I'm trying to. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I don't want to. I'm trying not to kill the horse. Oh. Yeah, but I don't want to. Yeah, this is the last special with Arthur. Well, let's move. Oh, I thought those were Pinkertons for a minute. Where's John? I tried. No, you didn't. I tried. Didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. He doesn't believe him.
Hmm. Red Dead Redemption. In case you guys forgot the name. Well, it's Red Dead Redemption 2, but still. Alright, so I guess it automatically goes to the next mission. It's technically, it wasn't the last mission, but... Sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. We just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. So what is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. That's uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur, but he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. <coughs> well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mom. Mrs. Adler... Well, right now they don't know that John survives. Ride with me. Yeah. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably There's... dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. No. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Good boy. Now he don't care if he orphans his French child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. In a us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. No, yeah, maybe. Even this bullshit beats dead. Do not. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea. Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Ah! Sorry, horse. Here we are. Let's 
ditch the horses and come up with a plan. What's wrong? Boy. Thought we were hitched. Good boy. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Honey? Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. First time at the well, I believe you can come here earlier in the game if you want. I don't really know if there's anything worth getting though. Might be. Okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. <coughs> Where's Sadie? Mr. Milton, I guess we're going to have to talk this out like gentlemen.
What are you doing? You're supposed to be a cop. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. Should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah. You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Oh, thank you. Horrible man. Now come on, both of you. No, don't kill the horses. God damn it. More of them. The left. Get away. You still okay there, Abigail? I'm good. I'm good. Someone killed this bastard. Give it up. It's all over. And I want my hat back. I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, <coughs> there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm... I was on the train and I didn't see it. No. <laughs> we got Jack. He's safe. 
Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, hmm. John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Go on, get out of here. Fat part. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. Best. You go get that boy. It'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in the cave. I don't want the, in the back money. To the left, I'm not under a wagon. Duchess chest. I'm not gonna take it. All our money. I don't want it. I know it. John told you I knew where it was. <laughs> Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the sad music. I shouldn't get a copyright claim for this because it's. Uh, I mean, I could, but. Alright. Yeah. Oh, so you can still get the map. But what happens if you don't go there? I don't know. What are you doing? Well, we got the high honor. Oh, you're version. a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Oh, don't, please don't die. Sorry. Come on, Buell. I thought it, yeah, one of your horses w does have to die. I thought Buell's owner died, so they could be together. Not that I want him to die, but. You saved my life. You're a good man. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the <laughs> Look thing. at the horse's eyes. Just about at camp. Or, well, where camp was. I'm not gonna get the money. I could, but it's not gonna really make a difference. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on! All of you! Oh, Hurry! We ain't got long. Hurry! <laughs> Plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. 
She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. <coughs> you rats. All of you. Seems old Mark, it was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, Capo? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! Oh, look who it is. <clears throat> you left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. Don't my boy. No, I didn't. You. I didn't have a choice. Left me. All of you. You pick your side now because this is over. Oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> Oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Ah, uh, well. There's not much we could have done for her. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me. Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. <coughs> He's lying. He's lying. Why would Javier be on there, sir? God damn it. Move. <coughs> you ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down. This is Agent Ross. Come on, get out of the horse. Oh, I don't have any more ammo? What? How am I out of ammo? Okay, there. I didn't run. I didn't abandon him. Really? All right, whatever. Try it again. Everyone, get down! This is Agent Ross with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Put your guns down. Lay down your weapons now. We have you surrounded. We're not trapped. Let's keep moving. You asked for it, asshole. We'll be fine. Her job would be fine. At least for this game. Those bastards! 
left me for dead. See, you're Stop dead. where you are and put your guns on the ground. Let's go on the push. Come on, we gotta move. Thank you. Is there someone up there? Come on, go! Well, yeah, that's kind of half. I was wondering why he wasn't coming up with me. What? I'm not going back. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <sighs> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I hope John... Arthur. I'm not getting the money. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! They'll just be... I'm back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! Well, Beale can be with his his uh, owner or master or whatever, but. Well, let's get up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. 
I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you bastards! I don't I don't know if he's gonna Probably hurt. Still got a little fight in your hat, <clears throat> boy. It's not really gonna matter what we do. I got what I wanted. All right, I got a cramp. Okay. You got a little better now. You're a traitor. Get up. So did the Pinkerton step back or something? I'm throwing more punches than him. And 
it's not gonna matter whether we get shot or not. But let's see if I can at least get him first. Oh, black lung! You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. We can't really kill him. We could try, but. And he knows He's it. Sick. <coughs> He's dying. He's talking crazy. I gave you all I had. I did. Uh. Uh. Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. Sean made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. Well, Sadie made it too, but. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on, let's go. We can make it. Watch. Yeah, he's just gonna walk away. Yep. Come on, Dutch. Nope. Come on. He's not having it. Oh, he didn't kill him. Okay. He's dead. He died. It's Bambi. And now we got the epilogue. Which will probably be a good thing to leave for the next stream. But I might do some Uncharted 4 after this. I don't know. I'm off work tomorrow, so. I think I have to play the first mission with John, at least, but before it saves. Well, it'll auto save, but all right. Some years later, so I don't, I don't know what happens in between the epilogue and and Arthur, but so this is called the wheel. That was close. Too close. He's older. We 
brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good... The honest hard-working men, a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I'm always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. Yeah. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with more... If you're not always good, you're not always honest. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books. <sighs> books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. I said you're a bad influence. All right, it's enough. On your mother. Which books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Hey. Now, I was going to tell you there's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and... Why don't you pull up just here? Can you tell me that thing again? Those names. I kind of like them. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging, or polishing some rich fella's boots, or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Okay there. How you doing, friend? You know what I just decided? Not to worry about all this crap. Glad to hear you. Thought I'd pass that on. Goodbye now. <coughs> help wanted. Apply within. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Got a it. wagon, by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Wrapped you 
tight there, friend. Relax, I ain't causing trouble. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning it after surgery. So it's probably like 10 there, oh, maybe? I don't know. It is, John. Oh, it is. 10 or 11. This is the way to it. Maybe 12? I don't know. Well, what do you suggest now? I don't know. It sounds I'll older than here. 10. But... Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect them. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Oh shit! Damn it! Shit! How much further? About a th yeah, about halfway there. All right. 
Oh. Let's see if we get yelled at for uh, damaging some things. It was my fault, technically. This must be it. Not through the flowers. Okay. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, we'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> That's my damn wagon, you hear me? That's my damn wagon. Yes, Missy. Ain't you special? One way or another. Get on with you. Whoa, whoa. All you had to do was ask. Hey, what? Back up. All we're asking is Mr. Getty's take Mr. Abrams' offer. That's. I want my hat back. Mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got 
We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. All right, so the epilogue. I guess I guess now the epilogue begins, but whatever. Epilogue part one. Prongom something ranch. I'm not the best cursive reader. All right, guys, that is actually going to be it. So I want to thank you for watching. Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll continue the epilogue probably tomorrow, but I kind of want to do some Uncharted 4, but I'm going to take a break first before I do anything. So I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and without further ado, I've been your host. I will see you guys. Come on. Can I end the stream? Where's OBS? Here it is. I will see you guys later. Take care.